excited. You said you felt like you kind of owed it to the fans to take this fight, even though it's not your thing. Can you kind of explain that a little bit? Why do you feel like you owed them? Yeah, you know, um, well, over the last year, it's been really tough to be a John Jones fan, for sure. I, I definitely, I definitely haven't made it easy. Um, and I wanted to do something positive. I wanted to um, save the day for these guys. You know, uh, UFC 151 happened a long time ago. It's something that some people still hold against me uh, to this day. So um, getting in here uh, for all these fans, you know, saving this card, um, I felt as if it was just it give me some brownie points with my fans. John, do you remember the moment you realized you had to change? Was there like a rock bottom moment or a conversation you had with somebody where you're like, this is not working? Um, moment I realized I had to change. Yeah, man, you know, honestly, big moment for me was the night Anthony Johnson and Daniel Cormier fought for my light heavyweight championship and I saw uh, DC walk away with it. And in my mind, I, I beat both of those guys. And, um, you know, I was at home with my wife and, um, and I thought to myself, man, you know, here I am. Um, possibly one of the best fighters to ever play this sport, and and I'm here at my house without a belt, without a sponsor, you know, um, just completely wasting talent. You know, I, I'm, I should be in this arena in front of thousands of people, in front of millions of viewers at home, but I'm sitting here in my kitchen watching this fight. I'm like, you know by myself, you know, with my family. So that night really is, is what made me realize, okay, John, you are ruining something very special. And uh, it's time for you to pull your head out of your ass and, uh, and do things right and, and, and really uh, ace uh, the rest of this story, the rest of this book. So that's what I'm gonna do. You know, I'm, I'm really aware with everything that's happened. You know, I took myself out of the competition being a knucklehead and, uh, and, gave, and gave DC an opportunity of a lifetime to finally capture that belt. Um, this may sound weird, but in a way I'm happy for him to uh, have gotten to taste, taste the opportunity. Because, you know, outside of the fact that I don't like him, He's really not a bad guy, and you know, watching him, he makes a great champion. You know, he, he has a clean image. You know, seems like a family guy. He works really hard and everything like that. So, you know, me not being in there, you would want to see a guy like DC have to go. So, a part of me, in a weird way, is happy that he got the opportunity. Um, but now he's had it long enough. I hope he. Uh, you know, I hope he enjoyed it. It's time to pay his rental fee. Get that ass whooped when I uh, finally face him, maybe at UFC 100, uh, 200.